Hello everyone, welcome to the week 7 of Business Management Capstone class. We're almost halfway through the course already. Now I realized last week, at the beginning of the video, I said I'm going to try to keep it short and then, as you are well aware, it ended up being probably one of the longest videos. So this week I'm truly going to try to keep it a lot shorter than last week. So I'm going to just dive right into the week 7 module. Assignment summary for this week. Of course you're watching the overview video right now. You want to read Chapter 5, review the PowerPoint presentation for Chapter 5, the Course Participation and Discussion Board, the Chapter 5 Learn Smart, the Case Study, which is Apple in 2015, a Global Simulation, this is a new assignment, the three-year strategy plan for years 9 through 11, Global Simulation Year 9 Report, and the Global Simulation Decisions for Year 9. And then last but not least, the quiz on Chapter 5. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. Of course, you have your course content within Module 7 that you should review. Next, you have the course participation, which is competitive strategies. You will be choosing the company, and then you will have to decide what competitive strategy is related to that uh, organization. And then you have to explain your answer. You just don't want to put, all oh, it's a low-cost provider, and that's it. You have to explain why you believe that is the case. And of course, as always, review the other post and provide a comment on at least two other posts. The replies must be engaging and relevant. Majority of all of you are doing so, but not every single person. So keep in mind, this is when we're getting into the course where grading is going to get harder. You know, so if you're just put, I agree, great job, you know, that doesn't count anymore. So you have to, when you reply, it has to be meaningful. Next, we have the Learn Smart for Chapter 5, the quiz for 5, and then we have the case study. One part that I left out about the case study, and I apologize for it, last week, was you have to read the actual case study at the back of the e-text, and then you go ahead and access the case study link as per this one, the case study Apple. So I do apologize for that. Uh, I know I received several emails about it. So keep in mind, make sure you read the case study at the back of the e-text and then go ahead and access the link. Next, we have the new assignment. So you have not completed an assignment like this so far within the course. This is the Globus Simulation 3-Year Strategic Plan. This is within Globus. Okay, so obviously the directions I have will step you through completing the 3-Year Strategic Plan. So let me just peek into Globus real quick here. Okay, within your corporate lobby, if you click on the assignments arrow, it's going to expand the list. Is your three-year strategic plan. This is where you're going to be actually completing the assignment. You're going to be doing a three-year strategic plan for years 9 through 11. And then once we get to year 12, you're going to be completing for year 12 through 14. So currently, you're going to be doing it from 9 through 11 and then down the road, 12 through 14. If you take the time and you read it, review the directions for this assignment, it's going to be straightforward and you should do very well because we're already going into year nine. So you should have a great handle on Globus and, and also your strategy for your company by now. To me, the importance of this assignment is to make, make you look in the future of how your company could grow. So let's jump back to Blackboard. Okay, so the other assignments that we have is the year nine report. Everyone's familiar with reports, so I'm not going to go on and on. Majority of the companies are just knocking out the ballpark. With that said, make sure you're mixing up the format. I don't want to see the same format every um, week here. You know, same cover page, the same data, you know, so make sure you spend time on it. And some of you who are 90 minute close, you know, keep in mind, I'm going to start grading even harder on you because by now you should know what I'm looking for. I always make comments. If you disagree with the comments or if you have a question about any of the comments please reach out to me that's what i'm here for last but not least is the year nine decisions as you can see the globus assignments i put them in order and this would be my preference not the order you have to complete them in the strategic plan first then the year nine report and then the decisions if you go in that order the decision should be easy because you already know what you're looking to do based on the strategic plan and the year nine report. So that would be my preference, but you can complete the assignments any which way you want. Let's go ahead and jump into Globus and look at the outcome from year eight. Here we have the year eight scoreboard. 
as you can see, Company D is clearly in the lead with 108. Then Company C gained plus 8 uh, from year 7. Now they're at 93. And then Company B gained 2, at nine, and now they're 92. And then Company E stayed the same. Company A actually lost 9, at, and now they're at 82 for year 8. Company F lost 4, so they're at 81. Now that's, of course, for the year 8. With that said now, don't panic yet because the decisions you're making early on may take a while, may take several different years to really take into effect. So I wouldn't stray too far from your strategy that you're trying. Give it a few years before you kind of mix it up. So let's look at the game to date scoreboard. Of course, we have Company D leading charge at 107. Then E's at 93. You got B at 91. You got C at 91. Company A at 88. And Company F at 83. And company C and A actually each got a bonus point. So then again, keep in mind, don't panic yet. Stick with it. Stay with your strategy and give it a few years. Um, I'd say about year 10 or 11. Uh, by that time, you will know if you're on the right track or if you really need to uh, mix it up. Next, let's go ahead and look at earnings per share, return on equity, and stock price. Okay, for earnings per share, we actually now have two companies that did not meet expectations, Company A and Company F. Company A actually dropped. They were at 3.08, now at 2.53. And Company F, they was at 219, now at 260. You would say to yourself, well, hey, they actually increased. They did, but the expectations from the investors increased also. So that's why they have not met expectations for year eight. Company D is best in industry at uh, 7.11. And company B, C, and E are meeting expectations. Next, we have return on equity. Then again, company A and company E did not meet expectation. If you look at company A, they were at 34.8 for year 7 and went down to 23.9. So that would be a little bit of concern. And company E went from 32 to 24. Same thing, I would watch that. That would concern me a little bit for that big of a drop this early on. But then again, like I said, if you're making changes, or trying a, a new strategy, or some strategies just take a while, so just keep all that in mind. Company D is best in the industry at 46, and B, C, and F all met expectations. Next, we have stock price. Everborn met expectations. Company D is uh, best in the industry with 233, so great job, everyone. So next, let's take a look at credit rating and image rating. So for credit rating, everyone has an A. So great job, keep it up. It looks like you know some are just improving, some is, some are holding on to A. So you know you, you really want either A minus A or A plus around that range. So obviously, all teams are doing great with an A. Next, we have image rating. Everyone met expectation, fantastic, and we actually have a tie now with best in the industry with company A and company D. So this is the first time we had a tie. And then everyone else is meeting expectations, so uh, keep it up and keep increasing it. Um, obviously, as you can see, Company A and Company D both did. Uh, company A did by four points, and D did by a couple. But then we have other teams such as B went up five, C went up one, E went up seven, and then you had F that dropped two, but they're still meeting expectations, though. Well, this is where I'm going to stop with reviewing the data, but please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. Have a great week.